Well, the hospital. Maureen Edna used to live at was the hospital. Really? She had an apartment years ago. That's where it was. Yeah, right by Palmer. Yeah. Recording. Okay. <laughs> what else you got, Art? Oh, I. <laughs> Denny might have a few. I was too young. Oh, yeah. right. <laughs> I didn't realize that you lived in Buffalo. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Do you remember me? I used to go to. Well, I went to St. Mark, and I when Art. I knew you two from St. Oh, Mark. Dear. Uh, no, uh, my, my, my memory stops on Thursday. Or oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Right back well, I've seen you there. What's your name? Karen Benjamin. Benjamin. Mm-hmm. Because Amy and I, well, we're their daughters. Yeah. So um, we well, our mom. kids are Kirk, Catherine, Kevin, and Kyle. <laughs> oh, my. Uh, what, I don't know what years. I, I don't remember the years. That, yeah. Um, uh, I would have graduated high school like 79. That's a little bit older than our kids. Okay. Okay. They graduated 81, 82, 83, <laughs> in 86. Oh, yeah? At what? And then 86. At what? Uh -huh. Yeah, we got one of those. <laughs> 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 Sorry? Graduation. 86, maybe? <clears throat> she was talking about the, the gap between the, the uh, last kid and oh, the and very last kid. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> 87. Be grateful. <laughs> no, I think I was six years old when we moved away from here. So oh, I didn't, I didn't that's why I probably it. wouldn't have known. Yeah, I think yeah. we moved away in what, December of 41? No, no. Oh. Pearl Harbor Day we moved. Is that right? Yeah, okay. we used Sim okay. Myers, we used Sim Myers coal truck. To move to Walton. That was a nice clean truck to move in, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> that sign up there was from him. Awesome. Mm -hmm. uh, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he owned the he owned the house on Third and Dodge, Northwest Corner. Yeah, yeah that's uh, Bud Myers lived upstairs. Bud and Mina mm -hmm. lived upstairs. Just the phone number. And the then sign Mosier, in. Mosier or Moore, Mosier. Lived across the, the creek from that house. I want to I want to hear more about this house up here that he was born in that has the cave in it. Why mm -hmm. is there a cave in it? Wait, yeah, that, that's that's where it's at because we went up by there, didn't we? Or, or was that Terry and I went up there one day? Must be real. Was that part she of the said, what was the purpose of the cave? It could be. Cold. I don't know. We wouldn't. I don't know. I was so I was I was six, six years old. Keep your wine cold. <laughs> so, and they yeah. have. I mean, so, like my house has like a place in the basement. Like looks like it had a cave out, and then they've like. Bricked it up. Back in. And they say like a lot of houses in Buffalo were part of the Underground Railroad at one time. Yeah. Uh -huh. so. oh. and there's also a lot of coal around here too. Mm -hmm. Right. Yep. We get chunks of it in our pasture. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then there's always the the uh, the summer coolie cellar. Right. That they were like a fruit cellar. <laughs> yeah. yeah, fruit cellar. Yeah. yeah. And there's mm -hmm. a weird little like square like in the living room floor just cut out mm -hmm. and then pieced back in like like a trap door like for like maybe slaves just I always <laughs> thought you know you, is it back down is it removable possible. well not now it's nailed in but um, oh it, but it's a weird why would someone cut that out like that just a square mm -hmm. <laughs> like they probably kept the rug over the I mean does it, it look like the same kind of wood as the rest of the floor um close yeah close oh. it was probably a staircase going to the basement but it's not mm -hmm. very big. It's only like the front room is just a little cabin where you built the house. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Grandma's house up on Fourth and Dodge had one, but it was about that wide and probably that long in the middle of it's about the dining room. Ours is about I'm talking three. about a different square. You're talking. Yeah. I'm talking about the little square. Yeah, little oh. square. <laughs> yeah. There's a well in the kitchen too. In that house up there, yeah, or yeah. that house over there? Yeah, no, I'm Fourth and Dodge. Fourth and Dodge. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah, there's a well up there. And whose house was that? What was the name? Well, it was Boyles. Boyles? Bill and Berta Boyles. And that was your grandma? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that was Bert Rose's mom. Okay. And there was David. Oh, that's right. Dave, Dave, Dave. And there was Dutch. 
which is Denny's. Denny's named after De Dennis. They called him Dutch. Dutch Boyle? Boyles. Mm -hmm. His name was Rose. Was yeah, uh, the, the boys were all Roses. Grandma married Boyles after the kids were. Oh, okay. Oh. Is that the man who died? Yes. As they were messing around? With the uh, <laughs> Dutch Dutch worked up at the Dewey Portland cement plant and was working up on top of the smokestack, yeah. <clears throat> cleaning off up there, and they went to lower him down in the crane. And he was supposed to go to Chicago the next day and get married. And the, the crane operator thought he'd give him a little thrill, so he just took his foot off the brake for a second and didn't get his foot back on the brake in time. Oh. And the bucket that they were in hit the ground and. Dutch's boss landed on top of him, and and uh, there was no wedding. Mm -hmm. They got killed. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I never wow. heard that story before. Mm -hmm. And that mm -hmm. was probably that was obviously before I was born. But yeah, it was uh, 33, 34, somewhere. I think mm -hmm. I think they got married in yeah. 30. And thinking <coughs> Dennis Lee Rose, and so up in the cemetery, and there's a Dennis Lee Rose. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So there's a Dennis Lee Rose up there, so it's the weirdest. I think it's weird for you. you know, <laughs> 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 Thank you. 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 Nickname was Dutch, and they, so they made my nickname Butch. So oh. <laughs> he even kept it close. <laughs> So Johnny was talking about how they used to live in a boxcar over there on the west end of town. An actual train boxcar, I can't even imagine. Mm -hmm. How many kids did you have living in there? Oh, it was just uh, me and my two brothers and my mom then. Well, that's the rest were all gone. gone. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's that uncommon. I think there. Mm -hmm. I know my aunt and uncle live in a house that was originally boxcars, and it's been added on to several times over the years. But there's still boxcar on those walls. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's cool. <laughs> what, when was when did your family live in the box car? What what time frame? Uh, 1949 to uh, about 52 or 53. 52 or three, yeah. I don't mm. remember that. So. Easy ride. Yeah. Mm. You don't remember that? <laughs> well, you know, I used to, this is where I used to hang out, you know, on weekends was in Buffalo, but that was not back to the 60s. So early, earlier 60s, I wasn't very old. So, Does anybody, yeah. go ahead, because I can't hear. <laughs> Does anybody remember the Clark Place when the guy lived there in the 30s that made made caskets? No. Yeah, in the shed in the back of the buildings. And when he moved out, he left them, and Mom and Dad used them. We put corn in them and, and things like that, and, and grain. And... Uh, where, where house is this? The where, one down? That was the, it was the ben, Clark house. Benjamin Clark's house? Yes. Okay. W.C. Clark, uh -huh. before they moved it. Oh, okay. <clears throat> yeah. And there were still caskets in the old well, barn? They or? left three of them. They, they were just metal, <laughs> welded metal together. Mm. And then when he left, why well, he left them there, and Mom and Dad used them for green. Just, what, did you live in that house, too? Pardon? Did you live in that house, too? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's where yeah, we, we lived. lived. Oh, you lived it there too? Okay. Yeah. We Buffalo moved a lot around. of beef paying rent. <laughs> <laughs> that's the story. That's, <laughs> that's more common than you know. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> I'm sure. I suspect in the 30s there was a lot of that. Is this a voice of experience over here? Well, one time um, I was asking my dad because. Well, he was in the hospital, and I was sitting there by the hour, you know, visiting with him, and and I really didn't know all this history about him, but he happened to mention when he lived in DeWitt. And I said, DeWitt, you never told me you lived in DeWitt, because he was born in Columbus Junction, and he lived in Cotter. There's another little town. He lived in Drakesville. He lived in Centerville. He lived in DeWitt. I said, I didn't know that. I said, how come you move so much? He said, when you can't pay the rent, you move. <laughs> <laughs> and I never knew that before. <laughs> Matter of fact, <laughs> Art's talking about the 1930s. There were probably a whole bunch of people that weren't able to pay the rent yeah, in the 30s. That's, and that's what it would have been, yeah, I mean, when he was growing up. Uh -huh.
dad worked for the Highway Commission. They worked on that great big, they called it the White House. It was a, I think the corner of a funny is gone now, or maybe the whole building's tore down. It's on, it was on Front Street down there. Uh, where was that at? It was on Front Street. It was a brick, it was a concrete block building. It was two, two stories high. It was white. And not too long ago, we went, my wife and I came down through here, and the whole corner was washed off of blue, blue water. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Right down here on Hacker and Front yeah. Street. Yeah. It used to be Aubrey's, yes. Oh. That used to be owned by the state. <laughs> right. And actually, uh, Harold McCulley used to work there when it was owned by the mm -hmm. state. He Harry McCulley? Yep, you know him? Harold. Yeah. Harold. That was my uncle. Yeah. He is. Well, not, yeah, the Harold, no. not the Harold. Not the Harold McCullough. We know he was my age. He wouldn't have been your uncle. <laughs> no, but he's probably his relative. Because they used to call some people call it McCulley and McCullough, right? So mm -hmm. well, that was George and John's dad. He must have been. Must have been. I mean, there's names like like uh, N. Eichen and. Uh, Johnny Murr and Murray, or Johnny and... The Murr Bakery, there's... there's mm -hmm. They had livestock. Mm -hmm. And I stood... I Where Steve Pittman was called Popeye. Well, he lived on the corner. I stood on the front porch, and they made me go back in the house because it was so hot when the lumber yard burned down. Now, what year mm. would that have been? I don't know. That was... Because the lumber yard's like... Over there by where the school, well, the city hall is now, Where right? it used to be. Where yeah. The, mm -hmm. Yeah. And that was in behind the clay, in behind the brick factory. Yeah, mm -hmm. it had to have been probably the 50s or before, because that school's been there since. Oh, it was before oh, then. Yeah. It was long time. Long okay, before then. Before then. <laughs> well, I'm just yeah. saying it's before it then. <laughs> it must have been in the early 30s. Okay. Because mm -hmm. I was just a little kid. I don't remember it. Mom just, I remember him talking about it. I had to go back inside because he's afraid I'd get blistered. It was so hot. Wow. Luckily, the house, your house didn't catch on fire, but was that hot? Yeah, it wasn't mine. It was there. It was <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I went to half a year of school up here at the old school. You went to school there. Did, did Dad go to school there, too? Well, Art has got the clock that uh, Dad watched and I watched and you watched. Yeah, still runs. the clock from the old school. Still my dining room running. Not that entered for you, yeah. Mm. So is, are you his son? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm just trying to make the connection. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'm sorry. That's okay. <clears throat> yeah, and then there was Gus Salem. Mm -hmm. There was Sim Myers. Ernie Hartman. Yeah. Ernie Hartman had a <laughs> shell station. You got quite the memory going mm -hmm. there. And he had uh, <laughs> made there was a wife named Betty. No. He had two daughters, Betty and... Betty and Donna, but his Donna, wife's name Betty is Ruth. Ruth. <laughs> yeah. She had the ice cream stand. She was a car house. She had the ice cream stand. Yeah, she had an ice cream stand. Right and, and one time, one time oh, this was right after I got married. I came down here in about 1952 or 53, whenever it was, and I went in to see her, and she said, I remember you when you was a little snot. <laughs> I said, a good what memory I too. She said, you came in ordered an ice cream cone and it rode off because you didn't have any money. <laughs> <laughs> Ten cents? <laughs> I bet it was less than that. <laughs> so was your parents and grandparents born and raised around here too? Well, Mrs. Boyles was Grandma Rose. They lived on the corner. Uh, she lived in the, Terry's grandfather's house which is torn down, was a big yellow house with a white porch, as I remember as a kid, in the 20s, 30s. But did your grandparents live here well, That was Boyle's, that was his grandparents that he's talking about. Oh, okay. So that goes back. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Do you know where they born here, Art? Were they, were no, they originally Oklahoma. from Buffalo? They were in Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Yeah. Mm. So what house are you talking about with the white porch on it? That was a stickler house. Stickly. Stickly. Is it Stickler or Stickly? Stickly. Okay, well that's over on Hacker, Hacker and Fourth Street. Is the that the house? I'm talking about is torn down now. Oh, okay. Uh, My was grandpa a, was. There was a there was a lady. I'm not related. I'm a neighbor. She's yeah. a neighbor girl. We just brought her along. Yeah. <laughs> what was your grandpa's name? Henry Stickler. Stickler. Oh, Stickler. Okay. I, then it's a different house. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's probably. I mean. Yeah, Art thinks it was 
It's the one that's torn down now. Yeah. Where I was think, it? Uh, I think it was torn down. There's, I think it was built on two lots now. I think there's a house there on two lots. Charlie Moore yeah. and, uh, lived in one. There was, it's it was over on Boyle, Forest Street. A Moore, <laughs> Stickler, a Bell. Art Bell. Art Bell. Bell. <laughs> yeah. And I the people lived across the street. Was that and, and uh, they went to the friend's church and her son was a teacher, Sunday school teacher. Yeah. Oh boy. Across the street. Yeah. Stacy's and, and on the other the side. Street. But that's further Stacey's. that way. Stacy's. Keep Stacy. No, Stacy was a little bit further though. I don't know, I'm going to Not go across, the right across your bell. <laughs> <laughs> we think yeah. your memory is working right. Well. Well, it wow. is, it's yeah, great. <laughs> We're going to keep bringing you back. <laughs> Nobody's bringing back memories from the old times. Boy, I remember when I got home, I had a, I had a little Ford that had a stock car engine in it. It was a 49 blue Ford, four door. And I came to the post office, and when I came out of the post office, there was three boys in it came out and, and they had a 30, 33 or 34 Ford doors open in the front, no fenders. I said, boy, that looks like a little race car. He said, it is, fastest thing in town. Well, I said, it will when this blue one leaves. He said, you want to race? I said, sure. I backed out. When I was going backwards, I flew from, from reverse up into second. That stopped the transmission. I pulled it in low and let the clutch out. I let a streak of rubber up on it. <laughs> I says, come on, we'll go to Muscatine, and they all went in the pool. <laughs> 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 oh, dear. And that's why you lived in Davenport not long ago? <laughs> <laughs> Changed his name. <laughs> I think we're interrupting your meeting. Wait, no, wait, wait, this wait. is what we're. This is our meeting. That's, this is it. This is it. <laughs> this is what we wanted to do. This is what we do every meeting, pretty much. But we don't have all of your stories. <laughs> yeah, I got an email that says, "Bring your memories." <laughs> all you gotta do is remember them. You know, honey, you told me that that a long time ago, a year ago, that they had dropped me from the mailing list. The email list. Of the I told you that. Well, I'm sure you did. But what? I, I I'm the one that does it. I wouldn't tell you I, that. <laughs> I don't get it. I added. I don't know how you. I think what happened was I got a new computer and a new phone, and then so I have my Google. Well, con have I have Google contacts and I have MSN contacts, and I think sometimes it sends it from the wrong contact list, and you probably are on one and not on the other. But you're on it now again. So. You didn't get one. <laughs> You didn't get this last one? No. I ended up sending that to him. Really? Do I have your right email address? So you've got his? I must. Yeah. 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 I haven't changed mine. Yeah, I have your right email address because you sent me the email. You don't know what your email address is? I have it. <laughs> Hard to say it's wrong. Though. No, it's just Dad well, Rose. That's well, all I, know. <laughs> I don't have one. <laughs> You'll give it. You got it. Oh, you got it, though. He sent it to you. But why yeah. are you not getting it? I don't know. Young Art, do you know your father's email address? I think it's Sarah it's okay. Rose. It's okay. Just don't pick it up. I'm She's just yeah. recording. <laughs> it's, it's a good thing you're here, <laughs> young man. Pardon me? It's a good thing you're here. Well, I do have it because you've been sending me emails. You just sent me one saying you didn't, you weren't on the list, and then I added you. So you yeah, that was good that Jack put in there. That was... I've got... Oh, Art Rose. Yeah. I got O Art Rose. Yeah, why is there an O in front of there? Because he's Otis. actually Otis. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, Otis Rose. That I thought name maybe I was remember. a typo or something. Yeah. He's Otis Arthur Jr. and then there's the third behind him. Oh, wow. Oh, because I think Mom and Dad knew Otis like, Rose. <laughs> <laughs> he said he didn't recognize our name, though. I know. There was another. Does he know that you're, he knows that you're Kaufman, right? You don't know the Kaufman girls? Yeah. Oh. I knew them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know them anymore. <laughs> We're not girls anymore. <laughs> now it's breathing easier. Than you. you don't remember. It. <laughs> there you go. Swipe your Do you, 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 know, you yeah. don't remember him? No. Oh, I, I mean, no. I knew Roses, but I don't remember him. Mm -hmm. She's not old enough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, how old are you, Art? 88. Oh, that's a few years older than I am. I'm 89, but I was sick a year. This year I'll be 80. <laughs> okay. 
You were B89, but you were sick of you? Yeah, one of the kids. <laughs> <laughs> Held back. <laughs> Do you guys know of any of your ancestors that uh, served in the Civil War? Hmm, no. He's a Civil War reenactor, so that's his home. Wow, that's cool. <laughs> that's pretty cool. And where did you do that at? Uh, Wisconsin, Iowa, Georgia, Missouri. All over. <laughs> really? Be working, didn't it? <laughs> it's work. <laughs> you got to get that and unload all the tents, set up all the tents, set up the cook, yeah. cook tents, a ton of stuff, and then you got to dig a pit for the fire, and then then you get dressed, and then <laughs> until the battle. <laughs> Make sure the park board people don't get mad at you for digging up the whole pit in the middle of the park. The way we dig them out. We set the side aside mm -hmm. and then put it back in, and Pull it's it like, don't you know, I, we was there really a little bit. Oh, that's pretty cool. So which, so you went to school where in the the brick building up here? Yes. Well, I started off in Davenport with Uncle Hugh at Margaret, and then I came down here, and then I went to Walcott. To the country school out there on Hans Corner or Bechtel's. Even Perth. though you lived here? Pardon? No. Well, oh, that's when you moved out there. Yeah, we moved out there in 41. The school was probably one story at that time. Pardon? Not in 41. No, they It was to that. earlier than that that it was one story, but I don't remember the year. I thought they added on to 1900, didn't they? Or was it that? Was, it was two story when Dad went there because, yeah. because um, that's where the clock was, was where the door is, and it's the second floor up, and it was on the right hand side, I believe, is what yep. I was told. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that's yeah, been 50 years ago, <laughs> I was told. So, oh, well. yeah. Time flies. They took the, they used to have a, I don't know whether they still have it or not, they used to have a, a a merry-go-round or fair wheel, merry-go-round behind the school. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. It's and a bunch of the boys from, got from Davenport. They came down and they picked that thing up and they rolled it <laughs> down and put it on the front steps of the Buffalo Bank <laughs> on Halloween. <laughs> a merry-go-round. Is there a, is there, was there, there's one back or something. Disc. Was there was. Yeah. The yeah. arms come off. Like oh, that. Yeah, yeah, okay. Right is this still there? Or no, it's it? gone. Oh. It is might it? be at the park now. <laughs> there is yeah, one at I'm the sure park. I'm sure it's rusted away by now. <laughs> <laughs> there's a, I went to this school here and then went out to, there's a schoolhouse just north of Hines Corner. It's a two-story house now. It was a one, one room, single-story schoolhouse at that time. So we went out there for a couple of years, yeah, and then moved into the east end of Davenport. And I went to McKinley, and you went to I went Sublo. to McKinley for a while. That's right. You went there for one year. Yeah, and then so to Sublo. Sixth grade was real good. I went there twice. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's not the Russell House that you that we're talking no, about. No, no, we one. moved from there okay. on out to the Russell uh, House. That, okay. Yeah. Where is Hans Corner? Hans Corner is where. Uh, about where uh, Kimberly, no, I'm, about props. where 80 and 280 meet. I'll pass props uh, six, mm -hmm. six used to go out through props die and make a turn and go straight to Walcott. Mm -hmm. that, turn, that turn was Hans Corner. Oh, okay. Oh. And then there was a section of the road to run north from, nor actually northwest a little bit from there. Went straight out past Dennis Arb. And uh, there was a little one-room schoolhouse out there. We went to that for a couple of years. Yeah, was it north of the Erkies there? You know where the Erkies are? Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, okay, so the Christmas tree farm. Yeah, just north of the Christmas tree farm. 